Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Slay the Spire. The uh, why is the eye trying to debuff me? What's what's up with that? Extremely rude. Ironclad. Let's go. Last time we had a pretty good silent run. Not good enough though. Uh, choose a card. Obtain a hundred gold. Choose a rare card. Obtain a random boss relic for losing your starting relic. I think we lose 50% of our current HP because that's possible. It's possible that we could just heal that off. How are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing here? We can fight an elite. That's kind of a nasty path, though. So okay, hold on. One, two, three. Or, well, this one's like one, two, then a campfire, then another one. I think this is the safe path. Since we've lost half of our HP, we'll go down this path. So, well, we haven't yet, but now we have. Uh, do we take bludgeon? Okay, I'm only taking bludgeon. Normally I'd be like, oh, limit break is really good, but we actually don't have any strength gain yet, so I'm not going to take that yet. Bludgeon is 32 damage, and I, as far as I know, it's the only card that can actually break that one event. So we need it in our deck, and I want to I wanna see what happens. I mean, it's probably just you get a bunch of gold when you do that, but... Okay, we'll make you vulnerable. And then defend. And we just need a top deck bludgeon. Yo! We're gonna take some damage. Yeah, there we go. I don't think bludgeon is particularly efficient all the time, but I think that it can be pretty good. Each time you use HP in combat. We'll take Warcry. I think the strategy here is... Well, we could defend twice. I'm gonna do that, actually. I don't know why they have different attacks. Do the different colors actually mean a different thing? Maybe they do. Taking a little bit of damage, that's okay. We just bludgeoned this guy. He dead. And we're now making progress. Heavy Blade is pretty good. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Uh, Heavy Blade is really good. Oh! Gain 50 to 80 gold. Remove a card from our deck? No, we don't need to do that. Yeah, I'll gain 50 to 80 gold. That's not really that much. With all your might, you hack away at the statue. It soon crumbles, revealing a pile of gold. You grab as much as you can and continue onwards. Alright. That's not a huge amount of gold. Oh, here's more gold. Lose 11 HP? Yeah, let's get more gold. I don't want the rest of this campfire. I don't think Warcry did anything for us there. Um, so I guess we bash and then defend. Really what I should have done there was maybe defend twice. So we are not doing so well on that HP stand from an HP standpoint. Armaments, shrug it off, inflame. I think we take inflame, and we need to rest here. What is what does bludgeon do upgraded? 42 damage. Alright. 10 extra damage is pretty solid, to be honest.
So I think, I guess we focus on this guy first. Taking one damage isn't a huge deal. And I guess the idea is to murder him fast enough that... You know what, let's just bludgeon this guy. If I can remove... He's not gonna attack me this turn, that's fine with me. Bludgeon seems really strong, actually, because it does frequently allow you to just kill things. Eight. Yeah. You're dead. This is working out. Uh, brutality. Anger. Another war cry. I don't know, dude. I think I skip. Uh, come across a dead adventure on the floor. His pants have been stolen. Also, the armor and face appear to be scoured by flames. Oh, no. I know what this is. So the last time it was like he was beaten and bloodied or something. But this one is his armor and face appear to be scoured by flames. So what this event does is it summons that mini boss. Wait, but what's the scoured by flames mini boss? I was thinking the the hexa ghost, but that one's fi that one's fire. Surely you can't fight the hexa ghost. What are the first floor mini bosses? There's artifacts. There's goblin strongman. What's the third one? Is it fire based? I don't know. Anyway, I would like to say something. There's a 25% chance the monster returns. Last time we did this, it came. So surely it won't. But I feel like this game is weighted towards the negative things most of the time. I mean, we're gonna do it. Oh. Found a relic. Continue searching. 50% chance the monster returns. Found some gold. Continue searching. Uh. 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 Yeah, you know what? We have a campfire after this. Looks like you searched all his belongings without a hitch. Oh. No balls. I, you know, or, or balls or something, I don't know. Let's go this way. Unceasing top, whenever you know, have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. That's pretty cool. We're gonna smith. Upgrade bludgeon, maybe? I think we upgrade bludgeon. This is the bludgeon build. Remove a card from my deck. I think we remove like a strike. Just a basic strike. Thin out the deck a little bit. And we'll we'll upgrade uh, in flame this time. Strength, so we would get an extra nine damage for twenty three. Can't kill him this turn. But we can kill him next turn and we'll take the six damage. Uh. 
Uh, we're taking too much damage, man. He's dead next turn, though. Dexterity Potion. If this card is exhausted, gain two energy. It's just a better shield. Iron Wave is also pretty good. Do we have things that exhaust things? No. So I think we take Iron Wave. Okay, we got a Spike Slime. I think we bludgeon it. card on top of my drop pile, this strike. No, and then, you know what, I, I should have put the inflame on there, but whatever. We were just gonna shield anyway. Okay. Um... Fourteen... Top deck bludgeon. Come on, baby. It's not really a top deck if... If it's in the first six cards. Top deck implies, like, the first card. Uh... Apply a weak to all enemies. I think you take Burning Pact. What do we... What would we smith? Heavy Blade? Wave plus. War Cry becomes zero cost. Uh, I think we just rest. That'll give us the best chance on the boss. It's Slime Boss! Dude! Hopefully this works out. And we'll War Cry, see what we get. Strike on top. So we want to get him down to half and then bludgeon him, right? We'll see if that becomes a thing that we can do. I don't like having minus draw. That means that we can't do that. Which means that we're probably going to take his 35 damage hit. But that might actually be fine. Because we don't need to... I think that's fine. Bludgeon could happen. The bludgeon dream. I'm gonna wait a turn. So we're five damage away. The draw reduction sucks. I hate that so much. We top deck bludgeon. 30 HP on your little babies. That's super good. I think that saved us a ton of pain and, and stuff here. So we need to do... 15 damage in order to make these guys split. And we're gonna make them split down to three. That's pretty good. Oh, that feels so nice. It's the difference between an easy, easy slime boss fight and a bad slime boss fight is whether or not you, um,
whether or not you're able to split the, the main boss, because think of it as you're doing like quad damage, right, to all the little babies. You're doing double damage to all the spike slimes. We just bludgeon this guy. 45 damage. You are deceased, son. We did it. Easy. Juggernaut. We're do we don't really have a block deck. I think we take the feed. Hopefully we get to use it. Every five, for every five cards in your deck, gain an energy you can no longer see enemy intents. Oh my god. No longer discard your hand, draw one less card each turn. Let's try Runic Pyramid. I've never done this before. I think it's bad, but it might be good. I don't know. Uh, where are we going? We have a lot of gold. We're going to a shop. Oh, I hate not seeing enemy intents, but wait, we do see enemy intents. Oh, no, no, no. We no longer discard our hand, draw one less card. God, this is weird. Now we need ice cream. So he's gonna hex us. Puts dazed whenever we use a, a non-attack. I think we bludgeon him. So this effectively makes unceasing top worthless. Next turn, we'll just kill him. Oh man, this this makes me have to do so much more math. But yeah, he's dead, and we feed. Excellent. I think we spot weakness, because that's permanent strength. I like that. Ornate building. Choose one of 20 cards to add to my deck. Yeah. Um. Let's grab armaments. I don't know, maybe. Let's grab Flex. I want Armaments Plus. Because that would synergize extremely well with uh, Runic Pyramid. Okay, we're gonna spot weakness. And then deal 23 damage to something. Maybe not, maybe we're gonna... Oh. Let's be vulnerable, this guy, and then we hit him next turn with Heavy Blade, killing him. We're gonna take the 5 damage, that's fine. But we want to focus on these guys because they're buffing this turn, right? Forty-five damage. We kill the one that's giving the most. Or we heavy blade and then defend. Which one is gonna be? I think bludgeon. It's only gonna do twenty-two damage. Flex. Twenty-three damage. Oh my god. My day just got a whole lot worse. Uh, well. 
We're gonna take some damage, I guess. Ouch, man. I forgot about the flight thing. Only does 16 damage. Holy crap, dude. Uh... That is too much damage. So we need to stop him. Heavy Blade would not kill him. So we deal damage, and then we deal damage. And he stops flying, and he's no longer a threat this turn. We're gonna grab another Bludgeon next turn? Well, we are going to... I'll tell you what we will do. We will feed on you. And we Heavy Blade? Defend twice. Defend twice. And we just bludgeon. 24 damage. Alright, look. Stop flying. And then we bludgeon. We don't have feed. We already fed. Little bit of overkill there, but that's okay. Strength potion. Flex plus. Armaments. I think we take flex plus. Uh, I think we take the shop. Well. There's not another. Oh, there is another shop. There is another shop. This could also be a shop. It's possible, at least. We have 62 health. I think we can fight this mini boss. Transform a card. What do we want to transform? Transform Bash. Into another bludgeon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Flame. Strike. thinking about using a strength potion. I'm gonna not. And wish I did. 45 damage. Maybe we should use the regen potion. Maybe not, though. We'll use it in our... in the elite fight. I need some max energy is what I need. Okay. 11, 22, 33. Cannot kill something. If we Burning Pact, we can't play Bludgeon. God, we're taking so much damage. We're one damage off of feed. have fed successfully. We're still gonna take damage though. But we can bludgeon next turn. Do we bludgeon next turn? 38 damage. 
think we iron wave and block because this will be like the last turn that I can block before he just completely ruins my day and then we oh yeah here we go double flex bludgeon plus 54 damage Not liking my HP going into the next boss. Uh, anger would be weird with Runic Pyramid. And I think it would clutter us up. I don't think we'd take any of these. Maybe the Flame Barrier. Let's take Flame Barrier. So, mini boss, let's see. Here we go. Can I live? I think the first thing you do is you use the strength potion. Second thing you do is you're like 34 damage, that's not enough to kill anyone. So we block after using this dexterity potion and this regen potion. We block for everything we're worth. They're gonna take a little bit of damage. We're gonna take a lot of damage. Now. Twenty-seven. Thirty-four. Oh boy. He's going to make it so that we can't attack next turn, I believe. Right? Yeah, he did. Which means that... Are we dead? 14, 8? We're not dead, but we're very close to dead. Choose a card to put on top of my drop pile. Uh, this literally does not matter. We're dead next turn, I think. Yeah, and we're vulnerable next turn. Yeah, I think we're dead this turn. I do believe. We can't, we can kill one of them, but then we still take lethal damage from the other two. And we don't have any defense. Draw two cards. What is it gonna be? Feed and defend? Are my best two options, maybe? Exhaust a card. Let's exhaust strike. Flex and defend. Okay, so flex. Right. 42. That's, I mean, that kills that guy. But then we can't defend, or... Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're deceased. That was... Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> Ugh! Alright, well that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I think we were just a little too offense happy there. We didn't have any defense. We just kept taking hits. No defensive, uh strategies to, to speak of. It was full aggro, and it didn't work. Alright, take it easy. Bye-bye.